pick this tool up. After using it as an automotive technician, is that a deal breaker for you? Some of you are saying that you actually hate it. What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel. But if you've been here for a while, you will know that I have been a big fan of Milwaukee Tools stubby impact driver. It is on the M12 fuel platform. That means not only is it very compact and useful, it is extremely powerful. My favorite version of this stubby impact driver has been the 3 8 hog ring style anvil because I think it's the sweet spot for this impact wrench. But they said, no, 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 over at Milwaukee Tool. We got a Gen 2 fuel stubby impact driver and I want to say thank you to Ohio Power Tool for getting this over to us because I feel like we're gonna be like one of the first people to test this thing. I'm fired up about it. I can't wait to get started right after this message from our sponsor VCG Construction. Want to help out with the channel? Head on over to the merch store. You get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link will be in the description below. All right, everybody, you know I gotta build the anticipation. Let's talk about the specifications. This is their new M12 fuel, driven to outperform stubby impact wrench. It's product number 2562-20, just like the previous generation. It's forwards and backwards compatible. You can use any M12 battery. This is tool only. They're saying that this new wrench gives you 550 foot-pounds of butt nusting torque and 400 foot pounds of fastening torques. They have a speed one that gives you zero to 930 RPMs. Speed two gives you 2,100 RPMs. Speed three gives you a full 3,000 RPMs. And it looks as though there's a tightening mode that goes from zero to 1,300 RPMs. IPMs or impacts per minute. In speed one, 1,500, speed two, 3,000, speed three, 3,300. And in that tightening or loosening auto mode, you're getting 3,300 IPM. So you're getting much less RPM with all of the IPMs. As we move on, Milwaukee is claiming lighter weight, more compact. Milwaukee is the little guy. Just a little guy here. And then they have competitor one, competitor two. Gray, I don't know who that'd be. Who do you think Gray would be? I don't know who yellow might be. Who do you think? This has a five year tool warranty, does not require any registration. All right, let's get this thing unboxed. Uh, so like if you're saying, Vince, why are you always yelling? It's because I was excited. I love new tools. I love new tools. Let's get this thing out of the box. Here it is. Came out tool only, of course. Okay, number one in the hand. Feels pretty doggone good. It's got a four amp hour battery on it. We're in speed three here, right out, out the box. We have a full battery charge. Now, here's the deal. We do have the rubber booty on top of our Gen 1. And based on what I could see, the new tool is more compact, at least in the girth. It's almost like wider than it is long. Height is, is almost identical. It looks as though the new tool is actually taller. It has a belt clip on it. Now, a lot of you auto mechanics have yelled at me. You're like, why do you have a rubber boot on there? But you have a belt clip as well. This is the part that's going to scratch the exterior of a vehicle. We used to have that single LED. On Gen 2, we have three LED lights. I really like that. We have our normal forward and reverse switch. Wow, so here's the deal. How to change modes. This is something I'm not used to. This is something different. So it says to put the tool in neutral, right? So you put it in that center position and then it's saying to pull the trigger twice. Oh, so now it's in fastening mode. It's in one. Two, three. What do you think about that speed selector or mode selector? Is that a deal breaker for you? Some of you are saying people will be puzzled like, oh, like this thing's only one speed. The other thing is, is that if you were to pick this tool up after using it 
as an automotive technician, how long do you think that this sticker is gonna last on the tool? Also, what if you're buying a rubber boot? Like, I wanna know your thoughts. I could just dwell on this for over and over and over and over, talk about it in, in the many different ways, but I'm not gonna do that. I wanna get on to the testing. These are six inch by quarter inch lag fasteners, but they are using the old hex head. I'm on speed three. I'm gonna just leave it there, but I'm gonna get these lags set. I like already the fine, um, I don't know if you'd call it adjustment, but the trigger control is very fine. You can see I'm in top speed and we have like pretty doggone good control on that speed there. I don't know if that's carry over from the new M18 fuel uh, gen four uh, impact driver hammer drill, but they're doing, it seems a lot more with trigger control. Perfect. Wow, that was super powerful. Crazy, you could see both on speed three, both had the full charge. Let's uh, try something bigger. We have our testing rig, which we used previously to test high torque impact wrenches. Quite frank with you, I figured I might as well just maybe throw this on and test out the modes. Let's see what happens when we put this in auto mode. I gotta be honest with you, Immediately, if I know about it, I kind of like the, the, gear, the gear change. I don't have to take my hand off of the trigger. Just saying. We're in tightening mode. I guess we could kind of tighten this down and see what happens when we do that, okay? Okay, so it's tightened down. It, it just shuts right, right down, which you would expect from a tightening mode. Now, let's put it in reverse and, and see what it does in reverse. Not much. Maybe I malfunctioned it. You can see it's in, in tightening mode. Maybe it's not a loosening mode as well. Now remember that that tightening and loosening mode, you, you only get 1300 RPM, but you do get all the impacts, all the ugga duggas, right? Let's see what happens to this one in the middle as I loosen it. Like we said previously, these were tightened down with high torque impact wrenches. Maybe if we put it in speed three, we'd be able to get it done. So let's cycle around and see if that will get it done. Now be mindful, I know some of you are gonna say, we are adaptered twice here to fit this inch and seven eight uh, impact socket. So are we losing a little bit? I mean, there is some play between this three eighths to half inch. There is no play between the uh, half inch to um, three quarter. It's pretty doggone tight there, but yeah, we could be losing a little bit of torque. Let's see what happens. The one here on the end, no problem at all. Let's retighten that back up. We haven't come off the, the, the bolt. This is pretty good, let's switch through. Two, we're on tightening mode now. Let's see what happens. Very bizarre. So, what I'm seeing is, if we wanted to use this to run down a fastener or a lug nut, and we're on tightening mode, That time it worked pretty good, right? Wow, this thing is snappy. So we have our bolt, it's loose. We wanna run this down to get it snug for final torquing. We're on tightening mode. It's not running down. Now I'm fully depressed. Let me just try a little bit of trigger depression. So on tightening mode, it looks as though if you wanted to run something down, you're gonna to want to gradually work your way into the trigger to, to full depression. 
and then it will snug it up at the end. That's what I'm seeing so far. We have 400 foot-pounds of fastening torque in speed three, right, 400? Let's tighten it down fully. So we have all the torque, all the torques. Can our Gen 1 actually break that loose in speed three? Let's see if it's, you know, I don't know. Let's see if, it, if it's worn in and it has more torques now than it did the day it was born. Ain't gonna do it. So, I mean, and, and we're using equivalent XC 4.0s. Let's go test this on a lug nut. All right, we're outside here at my Toyota Tundra, and when I work on this vehicle, I will torque my lug nuts to 154 foot-pounds because I have steel wheels. But I was not the last person to have these wheels off. It was in for inspection. A real good friend of mine worked on the truck. He did my inspection, and I don't know how many ugga duggies he actually put on here, so let's just confirm. Torque wrench set to 154. I'm having a feeling he set it way beyond the rated or recommended torque spec. So, this should be fun. Let's see how the stubby, the stubby Gen 2 handles it in speed one. Can it break it in speed one? Negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Let's go to speed two. No problem at all. Now, let's go back into, let's go into tightening mode just to see how it works because we're, we're pretty loose, right? And we talked about working our finger into the throttle to gradually run that lug nut down, okay? Because if I'm real loose here, let's see what happens. And we're still not run down. If I do full finger depression, it actually stops shy of snugging that up. So what we're gonna wanna do, it seems, is slowly depress, and then at full depression, when we hit the wall, and we're snugged up, it stops. I guess that's a feature a lot of uh, people in the automotive industry have asked for. And I, you know, I, I, I don't know exactly the reason for that type of technology that's built into this, but hey, I guess maybe you kind of want to work into snugging up the fastener as opposed to fully depressing. I mean, that would make sense. And you can see at that snug mode, we're just snugged up because we're left with, you know, quite a, a way to go before we're at 154 foot pounds. So in that, in that tightening mode, you, you know, you're not running the risk of snapping fasteners or busting lug nuts. Unless you want to, you need to be in speed three to make that happen. And if you like running in speed three, full bore, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime. Plus you'll get seven years of good luck. Also let us know down in the comments section below, do you think this is a worthy upgrade from gen one? Will you be moving to gen two? Or are you gonna be staying with numero uno? We wanna know, leave it all below. With that, I wanna say I appreciate you and everyone for being here. Thanks a lot everybody. Hope to see you all on the next one. Thank you.